Bowling off with cricket, Cricket West Indies is now on the hunt for a new head coach after Phil Simmons resigned over the weekend following the disastrous first round exit for the West Indies at the ICC T20 World Cup now ongoing in Australia. On October 14, 2019, it was billed as the return of the Messiah in the newly led Ricky Skerritt era. When Phil Simmons took charge of the Maroon men for the second time, following his fallout with former CWI president Dave Cameron. Coaching the West Indies can be seen as a poisoned chalice since 1995 as coaches from England, Australia, South Africa and in the region have bitten the resignation or sacking dust. The two-time champions looked out of their depth and meagre in their losses to the Associate Nations Scotland and recently approved Test Nation Ireland. Simmons, who has coached the Irish, got the last dagger from his former employers which prompted his resignation letter on Saturday. The 59-year-old said it was not a knee-jerk reaction, but the hapless performances which embarrassed a full community preempted his decision, which will see him going no further than the two-test series in Australia next month. Yeah, we had a board call today um, to confirm that he will be the head coach for Australia. And that will be his last assignment. Uh, well, I think what we'll do is we'll have um, we'll conduct the World Cup review before that, and out of that, uh, we'll take those recommendations forward. We don't have a our next engagement is until February, so we've got a bit of time. And even as the decision came 24 hours after the first round exit, Cricket West Indies CEO Johnny Grave says the board accepted the former Windis batsman's wishes. At any point, did yeah. you guys accept the resignation or force him to withdraw the resignation? But we he resigned on Saturday, and we we accepted it. Simmons had glory in 2016, but winning two of his last eight World Cup matches is below standard for even the depreciating West Indies cricket asset. I think he's done the honourable thing <laughs> to step down uh, after having two failed campaigns, uh, one last year and this year uh, with the T20 squad. Uh, I believe that he, he realised, look, he's not getting through to these, uh, to, these, to these players in the T20 unit. And he's done the honourable thing to step aside and, and obviously allow Cricket West Indies to, to do a search for a new coach. Obviously, he's still there uh, for the Test Series, uh, but we want to wish him all the very best in that. But I think he's done the right thing to step aside. The Trinidadian has a win percentage of 36 across formats, which outshines his 32 between 2012 and 2016. But many may agree that the time has come. After Australia, the regionals team next engagement will be in February, but the merry-go-round in Caribbean cricket about the next potential candidate or casualty will continue way into the new year. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.